She's got a lot of dreads. Brushing long hair in the woods when it's dreaded is not fun. <laughs> yep. It's chilly this morning. It is. It's brisk. It's brisk, but you know, I'm moving, getting packed up. So hoping to lose the melly soon. And just just so you know, this is very important. Packed out some fresh fruit for the win. Thanks. I was going to say, thanks, Papa. Uh, that's what Diana calls my dad now. Papa, Papa, Papa. She's just like. Wait, when I see him, I'm, instead of caca, I'm like, Papa, Papa. Um, yeah, so lots of fresh fruit. I ate half of it last night. Eat the rest for breakfast. Hopefully going to do about at least 13.8 miles to this water source. I can't even pay attention because I'm just like watching this. <laughs> it's a, it is a show. It is. Good morning, officially. Diana and I have been cruising. We've done, you know, several miles. It's about 10 a.m. Um, some good climbing, but I think most of our day will consist of uh, more downhill than uphill. So we're getting a lot of the climbing out of the way, which is great. And we've taken it pretty easy, and we're going to continue taking it fairly easy. But I did the math last night. And if we want to finish next Saturday, so that means we did the trail in about 14 days, we have to start doing about 13 miles a day. So our goal today is um, a stream so we can have water and it's about 13.8 miles from where we camped. So nothing crazy, just taking our time and enjoying the beautiful uh, outdoors. And it feels really good to be out here and I'm really starting to smell like really, really, really. And Diana and I are not gonna have a shower till we're done with this thing, so it's just going to get a lot worse from here. Up here in a few miles, the Tahoe Rim Trail will split from the PCT, so I'm um, just going to enjoy my last few miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. It's so peaceful and so quiet and all of the different colored wildflowers just add so much character to this field and it smells so good with like just the fresh air, the pine trees, the flowers. It's basically like heaven.
very excited about my new pound of pepper jack cheese. Yes, I will eat all of this before my next resupply. Got some fresh tortillas. No avocados this time. Gotta dig in here. I want this jalapeno tuna bit. Yep. This is lunch. While we were eating lunch, we ran into our horse friends. Um, and Sonia, the woman who's riding the horses. Um, they're so cute. And now they're over, over there you probably heard them, just grazing on some grass and taking a break. I love them. I'm gonna be so sad when they get off. I think they're getting off trail at Kingsbury. So we've been keeping up the same pace pretty much the whole time since the day we met them. So we always love seeing them come around the trail. We just got done walking through this beautiful meadow and sadly this is where the last little um, chunk of PCT ends with the Tahoe Worm Trail. So if you look here, the PCT continues that way, but Tahoe Worm Trail, I'll be heading up here. So. It's been a good run with the PCT, but I'm excited to see the rest of the Tahoe Rim Trail, especially the east side of the lake. Very excited about that. I wonder if I'll ever step foot on the PCT again, right there. Who knows? You never know. When I was hiking the PCT and I would come across the TRT uh, signs, I told myself one day, I tapped it and I was like, I will be doing the Tahoe Rim Trail one day. Sure enough, today's the day. This one's not as busy as the other crossing. Good. Good. So this sign is for the opposite direction, but here we have Tahoe City, 65 miles. Bring it in. I feel accomplished. I feel accomplished as well. <sighs> Tahoe City, 106 miles left. Whew. This is the damage of the day, not too bad. However, 
I have some sort of what I think is heat rash on my thighs. So I don't know. Freaking mosquitoes. So um, I've been putting sunscreen on, but I don't know what's happening here. So it's not good. We finally made it to our campsite, and I'm very... <laughs> Stop staring at me. We have some situations going on. Tell your people the truth of what's happening. The truth. I will get to the truth. But what we did was I happened to convince Diana to go an extra, like, one point... What was it? 1.4 miles or something up this hill. So we actually did 15.4 miles today which is great, but here we are at camp and we have a lot of ailments. <laughs> Diana has some rash with hives and bumps and redness down her right butt cheek all the way up her back. I have, I think, a heat rash on my thighs plus like a couple hundred mosquito bites all over my body. My feet feel like they're broken and Diana's feet feel like machetes. <laughs> so that's day six in conclusion. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to report. It's just we're in a lot of pain, but we're doing good. Yeah, I think so. I think we're doing good. Anything? Any oh, you smelt my feet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I just want everyone to know something. Put them up again so they can actually see. Well, what if you think you, they smell up again? No. Her feet smell like nothing. We've just hiked, how many miles have we gone so far? Like a million? Like 70 or 70 something. 70-ish? Her feet smell like nothing. They're filthy right now and they smell like freaking roses. It's weird <laughs> and I'm pissed off about it. I'm pissed off about it. You hear that ladies and gents? I may look dirty, but I don't smell dirty. <laughs> For dinner, I have a tortilla some pepper jack cheese slices and these are just fantastic um, I'm eating them cold and I'm just gonna plop them right in there roll it up and shove it in my face it doesn't look appetizing but it is mmm 